Hi there guys, it's Sai and in this video I'm going to explain to you what is the fuss about Gorilla Glass and its versions 3, 4 and 5 and in the meantime I'm going to also explain to you well do you really need a screen protector on your phone or not so what is Gorilla Glass? Now Gorilla Glass is a piece of glass which was produced to be scratch resistant and its versions Gorilla Glass 3, 4 and 5 well there's not much difference but Gorilla Glass 3 is scratch resistant Gorilla Glass 4 is scratch resistant to the same limit but is a little bit thinner than the Gorilla Glass 3 and Gorilla Glass 5 which is yet to release promises to be break resistant as well from 1 meter of height so if you like drop a phone from 1 meter of height then the screen would not be breaking so that's break resistant so Gorilla Glasses are scratch resistant now does this really mean that they are absolutely resistant from scratches or oh, well not now let me explain the materials on present on earth are rated in a table from points 1 to 10 according to their hardness so according to that diamond gets the highest rating of 10 because it's the hardest substance on earth and on that table Gorilla Glass 3 or 4 whatever it is gets a rating of 6 to 6.5 therefore substances that are rated under 6 would not be able to put a scratch on the Gorilla Glass 3 or 4 but substances rated above 6.5 would definitely uh, be able to scratch the Gorilla Glass 3 or 4 so like uh, materials which we use in our day-to-day -day lives knife, steel, copper or car keys, nail, these, everything, everything of these are rated less than 6 in the table so they won't be able to scratch on uh, the Gorilla Glass 3 whatever uh, attempt you make on the, with, the, with those things on the glass but uh, one of the most common things uh, that we could face from our day to day lives which is rated above 6.5 uh, which is called sand and quads so the quads that is present in the sand is rated nearly from 7 to 8 so that is that would uh, if it comes in contact with your Gorilla Glass 3 or 4 it would easily be scratched with the quads present in the sand therefore Gorilla Glass is scratch resistant but from most of the things which we use from our day to day life but not absolutely scratch resistant therefore do you really need a screen protector because as it can get a scratch from sand or quads well if you can extremely prohibit sand from coming in contact with your phone then you are well and good it is pretty well you can go without a screen protector but if you are not sure enough and you sand can obviously it's a pretty common thing and can definitely come in contact with the screen of your phone so therefore uh, you can take one prevention that is when sand comes in contact do not wipe it straight out with your hand or a cloth first blow air on the screen so that the sand removes from there and then you could uh, wipe a cloth over the screen softly so that the sand removes without scratching your screen therefore the statement is pretty clear now if you're not sure of getting that you can prevent it from coming into contact with the screen then you should go with the screen protector because replacement of um, smartphone screens comes pretty costly with like 40 to 50 percent of the price of the smartphone itself therefore many could not afford that for like a temp phone of worth 10k would a uh, replacement of a screen of that phone would cost nearly five to four thousand so that is a lot so in that case uh, screen protector is coming pretty cheap you can uh, go with that replacing from uh, after six months or year now which is perfect for you the plasticky and flexible screen protector or the tempered glass now I'd prefer to use the flexible and the thin plasticky screen protector for smartphones with 2.5D glass so uh, the curves kind of don't mix up with the tempered glass as it is solid so you could go with plasticky uh, screen protector for the 2.5D curves but if your screen is kind of flat you can go with the tempered glass because tempered glass is kind of thick and it makes the phone much thicker than its normal size so there is that so all in a way you could go uh, the most preferred one is the plastic and flexible uh, screen protector. So that's been it for now guys Thanks for watching and if you have liked this video hit the like button down there and let me know It has how has it been helpful to you and all your comments in the comment section below like button and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel I'll catch you in the next one